Jump training, also known as plyometrics, involves eccentric concentric muscle actions, with rapid transitions between these actions, commonly termed the stretch shortening cycle. In soccer players, sprinting, jumping and change of direction are all improved following jump training. Further benefits to this type of training are that it requires little to no equipment and the exercises mimic the specific short duration high intensity actions involved in a soccer match, potentially increasing the transference effect between jump training exercises and on pitch soccer performance. The article published in the journal Sports titled Programming Plyometric Jump Training in Soccer by Rodrigo and colleagues reviewed 90 studies which had looked at the effects of male or female soccer players completing three or more weeks of jump training where jump exercises were a primary component of their training or embedded into their overall training program. Based off their findings, Rodrigo and colleagues put forward recommendations in relation to dose, intensity, recovery and general recommendations for implementing a jump training program for soccer players. This presentation, brought to you by Talking Sports Science, will be a summary of their recommendations. First of all, volume and duration. Based off the research reviewed, approximately 80 jumps performed once or twice per week, or a total of 140 to 240 jumps per week, over a period of seven weeks, is recommended to improve the physical fitness of soccer players. In terms of the intensity, as long as a sound jump technique is adopted, particularly during landing, as this poses a greater risk of injury in comparison to takeoff, jumps should be performed using near, maximal or maximal effort. And regarding the recovery, less than 15 seconds rest between each jump is recommended and 30 seconds or more between sets is suggested. If programming for older players, to aid recovery, the length of time between sets may be relatively longer, for example two minutes, as this will ensure jumps are performed at near maximal or maximal effort and therefore help to drive adaptation. For the recovery between sessions, between 24 to 48 hours are recommended. Training experience, habituation to jump training, maturity status, jumping intensity, type of jump surface and recovery strategies are all factors to be considered when determining the length of the recovery period between sessions. And lastly, for general recommendations, it's recommended that jump training programs for soccer players follow a progressive approach to overload. For example, implementing a 10% weekly increase in the number of jumps performed and when necessary, using appropriate tapering strategies where volume is reduced while intensity is maintained. And to help ensure safe and effective training programs aimed at improving soccer players' physical fitness, jumps are recommended to be performed in a well-rested state, on grass and combined with other training methods such as small-sided games, high-intensity interval training, endurance training, sled training, core training, iso-inertial training, soccer-specific training and many more. And that concludes the recommendations for programming plyometric jump training for soccer players. If you want to check out the full article, the link is in the description. Thanks for listening, folks. See you next time.